Once again, traveling the world is one of the best aspects of missionary work, and sometimes just getting there can be one of the highlights of the trip. This guy's a greedy monkey. Case in point, in March of 2001, Dr. Rapisi spent some time traveling through southern Indonesia en route to his final destination of the Philippines. But it is as, as primitive and pastoral a site as you can imagine. Primitive, but beautiful. White beaches mixed with breathtaking vistas and bamboo bridges that a sane person wouldn't come within 50 feet of. Beautiful, but also dangerous. One need look no further than the World War II Memorial in Manila to see how dangerous it has been in the past. And one need look no further than the team's escorts to see how dangerous it remains. We had uh, three or four fully armed um, with hand grenades, machine guns, in uniform, uh, troopers who escorted us. Hostages had recently been taken at some of these locations, like this beach. The soldiers were just a precaution. It was an odd aspect to the Philippines, but by no means was it the only curious one. One of the, the unique things about the, uh, this particular Philippine project was that the area was selected because of the deprivation of iodine in the salt and in the soil. Uh, and as a result, uh, this population, which happened to be the Taboli tribe on the island of Mindanao, and because of the, the depletion of iodine, uh, these people, as a total population, suffer for, from uh, hypothyroidism and uh, grow these tremendous goiters. The medical surgical team spent the week doing goiter removals for the most, point, well, most part, and I think they did 90 goiter removals. Meanwhile, the dental team worked on removing oral tumors and other anomalies. It's amazing uh, the, the, uh, the, the tolerance of these people. Of course, they've been endured so much pain and misery and discomfort throughout their life. But as much work as was done, there was ten times more to do. The first issue was the iodine. Arrangements were made to provide iodized salts as well as other supplemental iodine. But while the doctors and nurses were there, they discovered another problem that has kept the Taboli tribe separated from the rest of the Philippines. Uh, good morning, teacher. Within a population of 500 people, uh, the furthest anyone had gone in school was to the third grade, and there was one person. These people, in not being able to read or write, they also can't count, they can't make change, they don't know how to handle money. And as a result, uh, having owned some of the more fertile farmland in the valley, uh, they sold their crop for less than market value, they bought things for more money than they had, and as a result, they all went into tremendous debt, they ended up losing their, their property, and they ended up moving further and further into the mountains. Once again, arrangements were made to hire more teachers in order to educate the Taboli. However, there was one more project to do. That was a project that uh, I, I really had not uh, planned on. It, it sort of, you know, evo it hatched, so to speak. One day, while on a scooter ride into the mountains, a young woman and her child stepped into the trail in front of the doctor and his translator. The team had worked on the child, and as payment, the woman offered up her only valuable piece of merchandise, a chicken. For her to give up a chicken is like me giving up a Mercedes. On the way down, my translator and I were talking about him, and we decided to, to name him Willie. And the uh, only thing you can do is free Willie. Hey, Willie. Don't let anybody touch you there, pal. Instead of eating Willie, Dr. Rapisi got a hundred of Willie's friends together and sent them back to the woman's village. So by getting the hundred chickens and getting uh, enough feed to sustain these chickens for a six-month period. Um, the hope was that perhaps um, between the, the eggs that were produced and whatever additional chicks um, were produced, that they may be able to perpetuate this whole, this whole project. And as I said before, it's always a matter of trying to bring a portion of the project home and seeing what you can do from home to relieve the issues you addressed while you were there.